Say that again, I get you on camera here. That's 2,000 year old Roman silver denarius. Roman silver denarius. Right there, folks. 2,000 years old. On day five on our dig out here today and we got a new youtuber out here check this out digger dawn is with us today hello hello she's gonna get all the treasure she said before we do and then she's gonna leave out at once yeah i'm just a couple of hours dig up the treasure <laughs> and then i'm off <laughs> well we hope you do find something i hope we all find something yeah I hope we all so we're gonna get out in the field see what we do if we find something we'll get the camera on it and show it to you guys there's diggy it's digger dawn's diggy dog Nugget, are we gonna beat Pete today? We have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hammer Pete. <laughs> hammer Pete. We, he's getting all the hammers. We're getting nothing. No, I got two. I got two hammers. I got two. Hammers. I'll try to share. I, it yeah, I got two. Yeah. Oh, the first one. Yeah. You know, so many hammers you got. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> He's gonna get one today. Today's his day. Today's his day. Look how cold it is today. Got frost on the ground. Frost on the detector. We are die hard today. Got a chance of rain and wintry mix. Let's keep going. Nice day in England. Big old snowflakes. Wet snow. Day. Nose is running, feet are cold, hands are frozen. Oh, it's too much to bear. Those doggone Alaskans that came with us, they brought the weather with them. It hasn't snowed in England in November in a long time. But yeah, they brought the weather down with us. But we're all walking in. Gonna call it a day. Gonna go home and warm up. Hit it tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be better tomorrow. But uh, Pete. He's the man of the of the week. He got him another sixpence and got him uh, possibly a hammered copper or some type of old copper coin. And so, I'm at least good. there was something. He's good. Yeah, he's ready to go in. Yeah. I got a buckle. That's all I got. Nugget got nothing. And Digger Dawn, I don't think she got anything or anybody else got anything. But all right. Well, we're gonna call it a day. We'll see y'all tomorrow. He's in pain. <laughs> His hands are frozen. It's cold. Mine are frozen. We're going home. We're going home. I'm back out here today it's day six and uh, day five was a complete bust it snowed and cold we got two hours in I got one buckle that's it but today as you can tell is a beautiful day we're back out in this field where we dug some coppers and some silvers and love tokens and a bunch of other stuff beautiful day no clouds the 
today's going to be about 45. Still cold right now. It's in the 30s. And uh, but anyway, I broke out the big gun today. I'm hunting with my CTX 3030. And I really enjoy this detector. It's a little heavy to swing all day, but I still got my MindLab 800. But I got my first target with it and uh, just popped it out. And it's going to be a coin. It's not going to be an old coin. It's going to be right here. Get it out of the sunlight. It's going to be a more modern coin, I believe. It's a Queen Vicky, what we call a Queen Vicky half penny. I really don't know the date. Let me clean this up and I'll get you a, a better shot of it. I'll get out of the shade here into the sunlight. We'll see what this is. It's just going to be a, a Queen Victoria uh, half penny, 1964. Nothing gold. Let's keep on going and get the old stuff. Well, I just got a 1241 and dug this up. Looks like a very kind of an old toy. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's a wheelbarrow. Still all complete with the wheel and the handles. And the paint was yellow. Hey, nice little toy. I like these old toys. All right, let's keep going for the old coins. Let's keep looking. Maybe for the hammered and the gold. Well, I'm still in this little area. I just dug that toy right there and dug that little penny right over there and just popped this 1240 out and it's going to be a another coin how old it's going to be seems like i'm kind of more in a modern section over here in the field these are all more, more modern coins um let me clean this up and see what it is it's not going to be an old coin it's going to be a one penny king charles the I think it's King Charles. I don't know which king it is, but it's 1914. Uh, well, these are pretty common. You dig these all the time. They're like digging wheat pennies back in the States. But hey, it's still a good find. It's a good warm up. Let's keep going. I'll tell you what, I must be in a modern day coin spill because I just dug a 1208. It's right here. Looks like it's going to be another, yeah, Queen Victoria penny. Probably 1970s. I dug that other coin right there, the toy right there, the other penny right down there. So, must be in a modern day coin spill here. All right, let's keep going. Well, I've moved all over this field and it is quiet today. No one's found anything. So, I decided to come back over into this corner where I found those coins right there, there, and right in here. And I got another coin right there. It's just going to be a modern day coin. Yeah, it's going to be a half penny. Don't know what year that's going to be. A Queen Victoria half penny. Uh, at least it's breaking up the monotony of no tones at all. Uh, it's not going to be Queen Victoria. It's going to be another, another one here. Maybe it's a King George. I'm not sure. That's another guy. That's a half penny. It's just modern. Probably in the uh, 40s, 50s. I don't know where the date is on these. But, uh, alright, we'll keep going. Oh, I took him. He went, he went away. <laughs> I, put, I put on his little brother right here. Uh, walking back over, we're fixing to go over to the other field and I just got a 32. And, uh, and this popped it up. And it's going to be... Hopefully it's going to be an old coin. That's what I'm looking for. Something like a King George III or something like that. Let me clean it up and we'll get a close-up of it. What I've got is a King George III. 1807, if you can see it in the light just right. Let me see if I can get it without dropping it. 1807 King George III. That's what I'm looking for, these older coins like this. But I really, I'm still in a two centuries more than I want to be. I want to be back in the 15, 16. We're fixing to go to another field where I dug that 1640 hammered silver Commonwealth. So hopefully we'll get over there in that century. All right, let's keep going. Well, we moved on to another field. This is where I got that uh, 1640 Commonwealth uh, hammered silver. And I found it right out there in the middle. So I decided I was going to come up here in the corner and work this and check this out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me turn around the sun. Getting that high tone, 23, 27, 30. 
So let's hide, let's uh, dig this one together, just in case it's going to be something good. I'm hoping it's going to be a big copper or old silver. One of the two. It's still down in the hole. That's a good sign. Deep is good. Let's uh, let's see if I got it out now. No, it's still in the hole. It's still sounding really good. Right here on the sidewall. Uh, let's see if we can. Ah, there it is. You see it right there? Popped it out in the sidewall. I don't know what that's going to be. That's going to be another. Well, let me get my other camera and we get a close up. Let me clean this up. Looks like a King George III, perhaps. Let's uh, get the other camera. Well, it's not King George III. It could be King William III. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen this coin yet. Definitely got good uh, details on it. Almost looks like it says William there. And I flip it over. And if I'm not mistaken, down on the bottom, I think it says 1694. I can barely make it out. I got to ask my tour guide, Chris, what this might be. This might be an old coin, but in good shape. Uh, it's not a King George II because he's looking to the right. I just don't know who he is. So let's just wait for the reveal later on. All right, good find though. Ringing up like a 22, 24 on my uh, Equinox. I switched back over from my CTX to the Equinox. All right, let's keep going. Here comes Chris back out in the field. I'm gonna ask him what this is. It's a copper, but I don't recognize it. Ooh, what do we got? William the Third. William the Third. Sixteen ninety six. Sixteen ninety six. Yeah, I thought six, it said sixteen ninety four on it. Oh, is it? It'll be sixteen. I saw. I thought I saw sixteen ninety four. Is that right? Four. It's it four. could. It could be something. It's what? four or six. Oh, no, ninety nine. Down is it? If you have a look, now. Sixteen ninety nine. Sixteen ninety six to ninety nine because it was William and Mary prior to him which is 1695 so 1699 i got into the 16s yeah. yes yeah. it's a good shape as king well yes yeah, in great shape isn't it yeah it's lovely yeah king william that the third real nice with some um wax on it yeah all right now we know what it is let's keep looking i was digging a 20 a 19 to 20 signal right here and i dug it out dug deep couldn't find it and then swung to the left and i must have threw it out of the plug and here it is I can see it's the edge of a coin ball and it's thin so that is that's good and that's going to be a copper that's going to be an old copper at that I don't know what that is that one's going to be slick but it's thin. Hmm. I have no clue what that's going to be. I don't know what this is. Very thin copper. Looks like there's something there. It almost looks like a rabbit. I don't think it's a rabbit though. Oh well, we'll just keep. Well, going. let's get the 13 on the Equinox, about uh, seven, eight inches deep, and here it is, right here. It's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a flat button. Shank is broken off of it. I haven't dug a lot of flat buttons today. No design. All right, we'll keep going. Well, I just got this surface find right here. Another flat button. All right, almost out of daylight. Let's keep going. It's getting late. Day six is almost in the books. I'm walking back to the gate here. 
and I get this signal real low tone I wasn't really expecting too much like 11 a 12 dug it up but I don't know what this is this is a small coin and it looks old it could possibly be Roman so I yelled at Chris to come over here and uh, look at it and here it is I wasn't even expecting this can you see that it's right there let me get my other camera and I'll get a close-up on this you tell me what that is Raymond Silver Denarius. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! Say that again, I get you on camera here. That's 2,000 year old Roman Silver Denarius. Roman Silver Denarius. Right there, folks. 2,000 years old Roman. Have you got a bit of water? I do have a little bit of water. Silver Roman. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Complete as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy water. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go too mad at it, but it's good. Man, it rang up real low as well. About 52? No. Oh, so mid tones? Yeah, yeah, like 11. I thought it was going to be, be a piece of junk. And I flipped it over and I saw that head. Yeah, that's awesome. That was a really a remarkable day just to be walking out of the field that evening and that was the last find and it was a real, wasn't a very good signal at all and, and I just dug it anyway and it ended up being that Roman coin. What a day that was. I'll never forget it. But later on that evening when we found out um, what Roman coin it was, it was identified as the Roman uh, Emperor Domitian. Immediately, you know, I hold a master's degree in biblical studies and uh uh, that just came to mind who that was and who he was and what he did to the early Christians in the early church. And I have a book here called Fox's Christian Martyrs uh, of the World. And you can read about these, uh, all the first uh, Christians and all the martyrs in the early churches and how the Roman emperors uh, had ten different waves of persecution against them. And the first persecution was with Nero. You probably heard of Nero. But the second persecution was the Roman Emperor Domitian. And uh, it began under his reign. He was the uh, brother of Titus, who also went down and destroyed uh, Jerusalem. And Domitian, the, the most famous thing that he did was that he exiled John to the island of Patmos. And we know that John wrote the book of Revelation. And so that coin is, um, is older than the book of Revelation, or, during, or at the same age as Revelation, because Domitian was the one that boiled John in oil and he didn't die, and so later on put him on the island of Patmos, and that's when God gave John the vision and the inspiration to write the book of Revelation. So holding that coin and coming to that knowledge of that truth, it was a surreal moment for me as a, as a pastor. And uh, But uh, Domitian, he was an evil man. He was a very evil emperor. Uh, he remained there. I'll just read out of the book here. He remained there into the reign of Trajan, governing the churches in Asia and writing his gospel until he died about the age of 100. And talking about John there. Uh, why did the Roman emperors in the Senate persecute the Christians so? First of all, they didn't understand that Christ's kingdom is not, te is not a temporal kingdom and they feared for their powerful leadership roles if too many Christian citizens followed Christ. Secondly, Christians despised the false Roman gods uh, preferably to worship only the true living God. And whatever happened in Rome, famine, disease, earthquake, wars, bad weather, it was blamed on the Christians who defied the Roman gods. Death was not considered enough punishment for the Christians who were sub subjected to the cruelest treatment possible. They were whipped, disemboweled, torn apart, and stoned. Plates of hot iron were laid upon them, and they were uh, uh, strangled, eaten by wild animals, hung and tossed onto the horns of bulls. And they were, after they were dead, their bodies were piled up in heaps and left to rot without burial. Nevertheless, the church continued to grow, deeply rooted in the doctrine of the apostles and watered with the blood of the saints. And this second wave of persecution was under this Roman emperor, Domitian. So when I held that coin and looked at that inscription, that bust, uh, this is what flooded my thoughts. And I remembered reading this in the Fox's Book of Martyrs many, many years ago. And uh, so that is uh, uh, the oldest coin I have ever found. And the only way I can outdo that is to go into B.C. and, and, uh, and find something during the time of, uh, of Christ. And, you know, before 81, during the time of Christ or even in B.C. 
But still, great find. I'm so happy. Wow, my trip to England has been made already here. This is day six, and it's been really a fairly good day. I got four modern coins and three uh, older coins. I got a King William III, 1699, possibly a KG II in the 1700s, and I got a King George III in the 1800s. Now I'm going all the way back to 2000, the second century AD, with a Roman uh, uh, silver denarius. How about that for, for uh, some finds of the day? Well, day six is in the books for me. And what a way to end day six with a Roman denarius. That was my last dig for the day. And I thought it was a piece of junk, so I wasn't even filming. And uh, wow, what a day. What a day. I thought 1600 to 1699 was good. But 2,000 year old Roman denarius. I, I can sit back and do nothing now. Well, we still got a few more days, five more days to dig. And uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, God bless. Well, here's the wrap up for day six. Got a few items here and got a once in a lifetime dig item. I'll show you that to you in just a second. But I got a little wheelbarrow and it looks like a little piece of a toy cannon. I've got two spoon handles and this one here even has the maker mark on the back. I think it says... Uh, Ashberry. I'm going to have to look that up with the crowns and see what that is. Got a buckle. I actually got that yesterday. Got two fired round balls. I got uh, a couple of buttons. Uh, two, four, six, seven. More of a modern button. Some flat buttons. A two-piece. and uh, Back of one. I think this is a back of one, too. Got uh, some modern British coins. Just a penny. Half penny of uh, King George VI, Queen Victoria, a half penny, a one penny, I think 1970s. I've got some old ones. I've got a King George III. This was a 1806, I believe, or I think it's 1806. We're believing this is going to be a King George II. It's pretty smooth. And then this one here, check this out. This is a King William III. You can see William on the side and still has a great bust. Um... This was $16.99. Down here on the bottom, you can barely see the date, but that was $16.99. So $1,600, $1,700, $1,800, $1,900. And that's not all, folks. Check this out. My denarius. This is a Roman silver denarius. The silver is all gone. It's bleached out, and, and uh, the impurities through the years, it's just, uh, but it was a silver at one time. This is uh, from 81 to 90 A.D. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome find. And uh, you can even look on the back and you can see the lady there. And this was a, uh, oh, I forgot the name of who this was. But that is a find. That is a best find yet. Roman from 81 this is the first century that is how old that is i forgot the name of it he sent me the name and i've completely forgot the name of it anyway we posted it on the video so you know what it is anyway there are my finds uh, on day six had another good coin day i think i'm up to about 27 30 different coins a lot of king george's and uh, but these two are going to be my two best finds for the day a king william the third and the reason why this is so good is because you can still read it and see the bust. Usually they're so worn out. And then this Roman denarius, the last dig of the day right here. I got that. All right, there are my finds. These are all great treasures, but the greatest treasure is not what you can find on the earth, not even in England. The greatest treasure is what you can find up in heaven, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say God bless and happy hunting.